During the course of this video, we're going to show you how to set up an insulation resistance test, also known as an IR test, connect a 2205 tester to a device under test, also known as a DUT, run the IR test. Don't forget to visit our website at www.hypot.com to find out more information on electrical safety testing. First, you'll need to power up your 2205 tester. Check to be sure that the correct input line voltage has been selected on the rear panel, either 115 volts AC or 230 volts AC. You'll also need to insert the remote interlock key into the 9-pin remote input terminal on the rear panel of the 2205. This allows the user to wire pins 4 and 5 up to the doors of a DUT enclosure for an extra measure of operator safety. A DUT enclosure provides a means of positive protection for the test operator. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel of the instrument. Connect the male end of the plug to the outlet receptacle. Now, turn on the power switch on the front panel of the 2205. Upon power up, the instrument will briefly flash the model number and firmware version number. Next, we're going to set up the IR test. Press the set key and the resistance LED will illuminate in flash. This indicates that you are editing the resistance low limit. Should the resistance of the insulation of the DUT fall below this value, the instrument will indicate a failure. Use the up and down arrow keys to edit the resistance low limit value. Note that either the mega ohm or giga ohm LED will illuminate depending on the resistance range you have selected. The 2205 resistance limit can be set anywhere from 0.1 mega ohms to 200 giga ohms. Press the set key again and the voltage LED will illuminate in flash. Use the up and down arrow keys to edit the IR voltage. The voltage is displayed in volts. You can set the output voltage of the 2205 from 30 to 1000 volts. For this example, we will set the test voltage to 1000 volts. When you've changed the voltage to the desired value, press the set key again to accept this value and move on to the next parameter, delay. The delay LED will illuminate and flash. Once again, use the up and down arrow keys to set the delay time. You can set the delay time between 1.0 to 999.9 .9 seconds. The delay timer allows the DUT to be charged to full voltage before the tester makes a determination on pass or fail. Press the set key to accept the delay time and move to the dwell parameter. As with the delay timer, use the up and down arrow keys to set the dwell timer. You can set the dwell timer to either 0.0, .0 or between 0.1 and 999.9 .9 seconds. The dwell time is the length of time the instrument will apply the programmed test voltage. If the dwell is set to zero, the instrument will operate in a continuous on mode when the test button is pressed. It will stop when the DUT goes into failure or the manual reset button is pressed. The total test cycle time is the delay time plus the dwell time. For this demonstration, we've set the delay time to 5 seconds and the dwell time to 2 seconds. Now that all the parameters have been set, press the exit key to exit the test mode. Finally, we're going to show you how to connect the 2205 to a DUT and run the test we have set up. To connect the 2205 to the DUT, you're going to need the following accessories the high voltage lead, the insulation resistance return lead. First, plug the black BNC connector of the return lead to the return terminal of the 2205 tester. To do this, line up the grooved slot on the return lead with the metal peg on the return terminal of the 2205. Insert the return lead connector and then turn it clockwise to lock it into place. Now, connect the high voltage lead by plugging the white Alden style connector into the HV terminal on the 2205. Once all of these connections have been made, you can now connect your DUT. 
To connect to the DUT, clip the high voltage lead to the mains conductors of the DUT. In this case, we're shorting the line and neutral wires, which are the black and white wires, to the high voltage lead. Next, connect the return lead to the chassis of the DUT. This allows for a return path for the leakage current so that the tester can measure leakage through the insulation of the DUT. Close the DUT enclosure door, stand back, and push the test button to run your test sequence. If the display shows OFL for your resistance value, this simply means that the insulation resistance of the DUT has exceeded 200 giga ohms, the maximum value the 2205 can measure. This does not indicate a product failure. It is important to note the status of the discharge LED. The 2205 tester will automatically discharge the DUT once the test has completed. This LED will illuminate green when the potential on the DUT is less than 30 volts, indicating the DUT has been sufficiently discharged. The LED will illuminate red if the potential on the DUT is greater than 30 volts, indicating that the DUT is not yet safe to touch. You can also view the resistance, voltage, and timers during the IR test. Simply press the exit key while the test is running. The LED on the left-hand side of the display will toggle between voltage, current, and dwell. Once your test is completed, press the reset button to get the tester back into its idle state.